So, welcome back everybody. I know it's been a while. Um, I've been working on a couple of things here. So, I bought this. This is a 3D printer. And, Dave, I hope you don't mind, because I'm trying something new with these. <laughs> I have them all torn apart, and I was cutting these, these spacers. And I just got to thinking, you know, is there a way that I can streamline this process to, to really make it, you know, uh, quite a bit quicker? Because cutting each one of these individually takes like, I mean, it's, it's like several hours, like probably four or five hours to get it set onto there. And if you multiply that by, I have one, two, three locomotives. Um, that's, you know, that's a, a good couple of days, like several days of, of hour wise, um, of just cutting shims. So I went ahead and I bought, bought a 3D printer. Now I'm still playing around with it and you can see it's, it's got some imperfections. Um, however, it's getting a lot better than the the first attempt. The first attempt was really not what I needed it to be. So, you know, the, the bottom is smooth. That's, that's looking pretty good. But then the top layer was just real rough. So I went ahead and printed another one. And that one came out a little bit nicer. A little bit cleaner. Um, this one I think is the best one yet. I have to let this cool before I can take it off. It just got done printing. Um, I went ahead and adjusted some settings online here. And I think this could be really cool um, if, it, if it actually works. Because I can, you know, I can take... Let's just see here. Um, I don't know. I'm still learning how to play around with all this, obviously. Um, so let's just see here. If we go like that. So, you know, it'll... I think if I can get it to print right... It, it fits really nice. The part fits nice onto, onto the model. I just need to, and somewhere around here I had a, a pilot, here it is, that I was just playing around with. You know, so it seems to fit pretty darn good onto the pilot. I just gotta get it to, to look like this on the top side. Because <laughs> obviously it's it's pretty rough right now, so I'll keep playing around with it though, and and get it down, and hopefully I can figure out some settings to. I was trying another test print, but I I didn't have the settings right, and it warped. This was supposed to be a cat, but um, I mean you can see the detail that the that it prints with is is pretty good. Um, obviously I've tuned it up a little bit and you can get rid of all them layer lines. Um, again, just playing around with some settings and stuff. So I'll try to get a print that I'm, I'm happy with and then I'll be, I'll be back for a second part of this video. I just, I'm real curious as to how this is going to work. Um, and it could be, I think it has potential to be really cool, but I obviously just have to learn how to use it, so it's a little bit of a learning curve, but still pretty fun. Um, so this is kind of the setup that you have, and you know, it takes a little bit of time to print. I think this took, I don't know, like 18 or 20 minutes, but obviously I, I think I can 
that would be a heck of a lot better than than four hours, you know. So, anyways, that's all I had for now. I'm gonna keep playing around with the 3D printer and and taking some stuff apart here, and then I'll be back. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.